Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you're getting a warning about circular references. First thing you want to do is just click OK on this warning message. And you've got to find out where the circular references are. But the first place to look is down on the status bar. You can see that it's telling me where the first circular reference is. It's in cell B5. The other place I can go to to find out where a circular reference is is to go to the formulas tab on the ribbon, then go over to the error checking menu, then go to circular references, and there we are. That also tells me I've got a circular reference in cell B5. Now let's go into B5 and see what the problem is. So this formula is adding up these three numbers, but in the range, it also includes this total cell. That's why it's a circular reference. So all I need to do you change that B5 reference to B4, and now the formula works, and I've no longer got a circular reference in that cell. But it looks like I've got more circular references. You can see here that Excel's warning me that there's some sort of circular reference between these two cells. Down here on the status bar, it says there's a circular reference in D2. And if I go to the error checking menu, circular references, I can see in fact there's a circular reference in D2 and D5. So let's have a look in D2. So the formula in D2 is referring to D5. Let's look in D5. Well this formula refers to D2 to get its result. So there's the circular reference. So what I'm going to do, rather than referring to D5, I'm going to refer to E5 where there's an actual value. If I press enter, that gets rid of both the circular references. I no longer have a circular reference on my status bar. And if I go to formulas, error checking, circular references, you can see it's grayed out, which means I've dealt with all the circular references. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.